That's one way to do vocal warm-ups. <laughs> <laughs> that part really got to me. <laughs> um. <laughs> welcome back. Sorry for the delay, but welcome back to Ace Attorney, Phoenix Wright, Justice for All. Um. My, my sinuses are still a little fucked, but that's, I think, just gonna ha be how the next couple of months are um, with the season being what it is. Um, last time we did more investigation for uh, the case against Maya, and uh, Eeny Miney is pretty sus. But Morgan Fay is clearly involved in some way, so we'll find out. Um, and then just as a heads up, uh, I'll be taking a little, a little break from streams. I, I know I already kind of did for a week, but like a, an actual, like decided little break um, because I'm having someone visit me and I want to spend time with them instead. I don't know why I'm doing these voices. <laughs> I, I want to hang out and not have to worry about my responsibilities, if you know what I mean, because sometimes um, this is fun, but sometimes it does feel like a responsibility. Anyway, let's get on with it. Uh, here. Yes. Oh my god, how am I gonna do all these voices? <coughs> how did I do this before? Um, okay, I'm so sorry in advance for the quality of these voices. They are not going to be as good as usual, which is already a bar on the floor. Um, Nick? Yeah? Did you know that Von Karma's daughter is only 18? Just like me? Um, yeah. Why? I was just thinking about how strong she is. I mean, she's been in Germany all this time but all by herself, and she's so grown up. Is that admiration, Maya? Is that some admiration I smell? Yeah, and I'm sure she felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. And then you look at me and, well, I'm the daughter of the master, but I'm still just a little girl. And that's how it should be. And on top of that, I'm the suspect in a murder trial. Again. Um, but I think you're really strong too, Maya, for all you've gone through. Why don't you say that to her? Good morning! <laughs> doing well today. I'm happy for you. Hey, morning, Pearly. You'll be safe today, Mystic Maya. Huh? What do you mean? My mother is coming today to show her support. I yeah. Yeah, that's right, Pearly. Hey, Pearls. Hmm? Yes, Mr. Nick? Um, do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel Mia today, too? Huh? I was sort of hoping to sit in the audience today and watch. Please. It's very important to me. I don't feel confident enough without her. I don't feel confident enough without her help. Dependency. Codependency issues. That's him. That's my Phoenix right. Mr. Nick, that's enough. You can't show weakness in front of the person you love. Pearly! Not this again. Please, can you do this for us, Pearls? Um, Alright, I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Maya's sake. See you later then. I'll leave you two to your own time. <sighs> Thank goodness. Nick? This way, Pearls won't be able to see today's trial. What do you mean? What's going on? That's so clever. He's so clever. I was thinking about this the other day. Like we, you know, he's so silly and, and everything, blah, blah, blah. But he's genuinely so clever. Oh my God. <laughs> God. God is now in session for the trial of Maya Faye. 
The defense is ready, Your Honor. Let's start already. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I look forward to tonight's news with great joy. The image of your defeated face will be transmitted all over the world. All over the world, huh? Sounds like you've made quite a name for yourself, Phoenix. Don't be foolish, you foolish fool, wearing the foolishly foolish, foolish clothes hiding them. <laughs> it's so... Uh, just... I was talking today with someone and, and we were like, man, English sucks. <laughs> but sentences like this are like, okay, well, they can stay for now. The famous one is me. I'm the prodigy who has never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago. Naturally. The world's eyes are on me, as I conduct my first trial in this country. Uh-huh. That's nice, Miss Von Karma. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to see you're in such good spirits today, Miss Faye. Uh, it's true what they say. Women really are scary when they fight. Gulp. Great line to come into. Yeah, truly. Now then, a very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's session. That the defendant could have left the channeling chamber, correct? Yes. And this key is proof of that. Oh, goodbye, frames. What happened? What happened? Strange. Th this key. The only key to the channeling chamber was not where it should have been. Your Honor, I would like to say one thing before we begin. All right, let's hear it. The prosecution has determined that from the time of the murder to the time of arrest, I need to get into like... Like, I need to get into the, the German... In the time of arrest, the defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. What? But, Miss Von Karma, then how do you explain this picture? Are you saying then that the person in this picture is not the defendant? I never said that wasn't the defendant. Then what is the meaning of this? All I am saying is that the Maya Fey, after killing the victim, exited the room. And I believe that is where she dropped this key. Can you substantiate your claim? Isn't that what I'm here for? The prosecution would like to call the defendant's aunt, Morgan Fay, to the stand. Just as I suspected. Aunt Morgan. Poor Mia. She seems really torn by this. Witness, name and occupation. My name is Morgan Fay, and I am a spirit medium, in a manner of speaking. I'm sorry, but what do you mean, in a manner of speaking? Ah. I don't think anyone really cares. Now then, after the murder took place, you kept watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, that is correct. I performed the spirit severing technique on Mystic Maya then. S spirit severing technique? A technique to remove a spirit from a body and send it back to the other world. That is. Yes, that is. <laughs> you, be quiet. Now, witness. Something happened while you were performing this technique, correct? Yes, that is correct. What in the world could have... Mystic Maya, she escaped from the room. What? And here we come to the heart of the matter. Maya Fey, while in a possessed state, managed to escape from the channeling chamber. 
I love Morgan's back sprite. Looks super normal except for her massive, massive hair. It's like, oh, lady wearing kimono. Oh, God. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Miss Faye, please testify to this court what happened during that time. Your Honor, I will try my best. I think someone just upped the ante on this trial. After we heard the gunshots, those two broke the door and broke the door open and entered the chamber. I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. A pistol was hanging from Mystic Maya's hand and she was in a daze. Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. Is that correct? She thrusted me away? Which wouldn't it be she thrust me away? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. With great strength, she hit the base of my neck and I fainted for a short while. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. You are lying. Why have you hidden this until now? I... I did not wish to cause more trouble for Mystic Maya. However, I must correct falsities when they rise. That's right. She is simply correcting a falsity, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Why is she making it a point to take a stab at me? Never mind. It's a girl's world. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. My aunt is a very smart and sly person. It's going to be hard for us to find a crack in her testimony. Just now, you said those two. Who were the two people you were referring to? I was referring to that foreign lady and yourself, good sir. Um, Lada's not a foreigner, despite how she talks. Oh, is that so? I'm sorry. I simply could not understand her atrocious English, not to mention she looked awful. I can already see people in the heartland gearing up for a riot. In any case, I have already sent the repair bill to your office, Mr. Wright. Oh, uh, thanks. <clears throat> what did you do after that, Miss Faye? I wonder how much it would cost. Probably as much as she can squeak from him. Get squeaky. What's the word I'm looking to eke out of him? There we go. To squeak him. <laughs> Don't at me. Was it really necessary to have two people do something so simple as call the police? If there was a possibility of escape, then one of us should have stayed behind. <clears throat> yes, that is a very good point. At that time, I myself was a little confused. On top of which, there was another. Another what, madam? Oh, it's nothing. No need to concern yourself. I want to hear the end of that sentence. There was another reason you wanted both of us out of that room, wasn't there? You must testify. Why did you chase us out of the room? I simply did not wish for there to be more victims. <laughs> the lives of both the good sir and that camera woman may be in danger, is what I thought to myself. Well, that was very noble of you, Miss Faye. This is bad. I know people have a good impression of her and a bad one of us. Looks like she caught us napping. That's my aunt for you. Are you satisfied now, Mr. Wright? Miss Play, please continue. <coughs> During our investigation, you stated that you struck the defendant on the head. And this strike caused Maya to lose consciousness. Do you stand by this statement? I'm afraid I don't. The statement I gave you was a lie. <laughs> but why would you lie about something like that? It is very painful for me to say this, however. Objection. The witness was lying to cover for the defendant. She was covering for Maya? I want more. So, you were covering for the defendant? Well, yes. It was only later that I was informed of what had occurred. That the renegade mystic Maya had done something very unexpected. Something unexpected? What, pray tell, did she- oh. 
This witness didn't and couldn't have seen what happened. If you want to know what this unexpected thing was, there is always later. Yes, very well. Why does it suddenly feel like there's a rock in the pit of my stomach? That's it. That's IBS. <laughs> King, you, you gotta go to the doctor and adjust your diet. That's IBS. <laughs> now, witness, continue with what happened. Oh, thrusted thrust. <laughs> Was it really? Sorry. <laughs> Was it really that easy for her to escape from you? I'm ashamed to admit to such a thing. However, yes. But you are physically larger and stronger than the, than the defendant. There is no way she could have escaped from you so easily. Objection! Have you forgotten already, Mr. Phoenix Wright? What about this picture? Remember that at the time, the defendant was not physically my affair. <clears throat> Growing old is such a mysterious thing. Trust me, I know firsthand. Basically, Mystic Maya's body was still that of the nurse she had called. But if she had run away, wouldn't you have given chase right away? Well, yes, I would have, however... She is lying. <laughs> you fainted? I became dizzy and then collapsed onto the floor. How long were you unconscious? I, I'm not sure. About ten minutes, perhaps. Hmm. And the defendant almost certainly went somewhere in that time. Happy? Witness, elaborate on that point for us. Is that because you were unconscious? Why, yes. Great. Well, now what? Keep talking. So while you were unconscious, you have, you have absolutely no idea where the defendant went? I would think that's obvious, good sir. If that's true. Then how can you know for sure that the defendant left the channeling chamber at all? Now that you mention it, I have to wonder myself. Get her ass. It's true that this witness is not able to confirm this. But the key word here is this witness. What do you mean by that? It means she has another witness up her sleeve. That's what. It looks like Miss Von Karma is ready to move on to her next witness. That's enough. From what I can tell, there's nothing wrong with this witness's testimony. And from what she has said, we can establish that an IFA did leave the chamber. Hmm. I hope this isn't going to come back and bite us in the butt. Now, let's take the next, next logical step and ask, where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? Yes, yes. That's actually exactly what I can... <laughs> Be quiet, you! Now then, what the escapee had done when she had gone to speak with a certain person. She... she went to speak with someone. Oh, who was it? The prosecution calls Miss Eeny Miney, who was sleeping in the side room at the time. Eeny Miney. I think you can see where this is headed. <laughs> Mia being like, you understand what's going on, right, Phoenix? And the player being like, uh, is such a real experience in these games. I felt like that happened a lot in Greatest Attorney, where he'd be like, I know what I have to do, and I'd be like, cool, I don't. <laughs> I felt that way in Danganronpa a lot, too. Witness, name, and occupation. Um, okay, so my name is, like, Eeny Miney. I'm, like, researching, like, parapsychology stuff at the, um, university. What is this parapsychology? Um, uh, let's see. It's like, I guess most people call it occult stuff. Even if that's what most people call it, I can't say I understand what that means. Then I suggest you go home and research this yourself. Yes, sir. Now then, Ms. Miney. After the murder took place, you spoke with the defendant, Maya Faye. Is this correct? Um, well, 
well, like, I guess. If that's the case, then let us hear your testimony. Yeah, I felt that in a lot of all the games. Yeah, I mean, I feel like some games were worse about it than others, if I'm perfectly honest. I really felt it in the Great Ace Attorney ones, though. Because I feel like he says it more than once where he's like, or, or Susato will say something and I'll be like, oh, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> that is all right, isn't it, your honor? Yes, sir. For the love of all things good, your honor, have some spine for my sake. Speaking of spine, mine is not the best today. <laughs> like, when the channeling started, I was like sleeping in the side room. Like, a little later, someone came into the room, like, really suddenly. It was like, oh my god, totally my sister. I like, hadn't seen her in like, so long. I was so happy and like, a sad way. My sister, she like, told me something totally terrible. Now hold your horses, young lady. You are saying the person that entered was your sister. Don't you mean the defendant, Maya Faye? Really now, your honor. Maya Faye was still in the middle of channeling at that time. Are you saying that the spirit of th was the spirit of this witness's sister? Yes, Mimi Miney. She was a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. Oh, well, this is... Witness! Oh, like, yeah? In your testimony, you mentioned a terrible thing. Why don't you tell the court what this terrible thing was? I'm sure we'd love to hear about it. Um, like, do I totally, like, really have to? Of course. Miss Miney, please. Mmm, my sister, like, this is what she said to me. That was no accident. I was drugged with sleeping pills. I was murdered by that person. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it, Eni? Her shoe being off is a really good detail. She took her revenge. Are you sure that's what she said? Yes. There, are you satisfied, Your Honor? I still can't believe it. I can't believe that a spirit would go so far as to use a medium to get revenge. It is a bit hard to swallow. However, all of the evidence and testimonies point to this as truth. The end. What do you think, Mr. Wright? It certainly seems like all the loose ends are accounted for. This. This testimony just now, was it all made up? Was it just one huge lie? Of course it was, Phoenix. Mia, what do you mean? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. But even the most well spun lies can be undone. We can do it, Phoenix. Let's find that one loose thread and unwind this tapestry of lies. Your Honor, there is room for doubt, so the defense will cross examine this witness. We believe that our cross-examination will reveal the real truth behind this murder. murder. I, can, I can talk. Yet again, the foolish fool spouts out more foolishly foolish drabble. I wonder if you'll make this one more entertaining than the last. Was that because of your um, sesame allergy, was it? Like, that's right! I, like, think there were sesame seeds, like, in the lunch they served that day. I had this, like, 
premonition that it was going to be a totally that was totally going to be a seedy day. I didn't read that line right twice. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Yes, indeed. Hmm. I see. Am I the only one who missed the boat here? Anyway, so you were taking a nap. Did something happen while you were sleeping? Oh, no. Do you know the time? Maybe a little before 11 a.m.? Something like that, I think. No time of death. That's stupid. Uh, 11 a.m.? Yeah, like, my stomach is totally ready for, like, food. Uh, no. I think you misunderstood me. I'm not asking what time it is now. I meant what time it was when the someone came to your room. Oh! So, like, that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more, like, clear about it. Sorry. My bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really... Uh -uh. That's it? Why'd you stop mid-sentence? Did I? So like, what was I talking about again? N never mind. Witness about this person who entered the side room. Oh my god, totally my sister. Are you absolutely sure? Are you sure about that? Are you absolutely sure? I guess? You guess? Was it or was it not your sister who entered? Like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Just, I mean, like, I totally don't know your sister at all, Mr. Smith. First off, my name is not Mr. Smith. Second, I'm an only child. I can tell, King. Mm, but more than that, she's managed to mess up the question with her answer. Well, Mr. Wright. The, the defense rests. Well, that was a colossal waste of our time. Now then, witness, how did you feel when you saw Ms. Mimi Miney? You were happy in a sad way? Yeah, like, I mean, it was my sister! But wouldn't most people react here with surprise at seeing a dead loved one alive again? Um, uh, but like... Maybe if I was, like, someone who didn't know about, like, the occult. <laughs> but I, like, know all about the Kurain channeling technique. The point here is that the witness immediately recognized that it was her sister. Yeah, like, what she said. G goodbye, Flannel. Uh, let's keep... Can't get any worse. So you really didn't think anything strange of the whole encounter? Wasn't your, wasn't she covered in blood? Yeah. <laughs> Eni was like, no. Nah. Like there wasn't any reason for me to like think anything was strange. But how? Don't keep badgering her. You know the phrase objection? Could you try using that once in a while? Mr. Wright, this question of what the witness felt when she saw her sister, is it really that important? Yeah, uh, yeah, because her sister was covered in blood. I would think that she should have had a reaction. It is very important, although I haven't quite figured out what it is yet. It's okay, I got you. But I've got to bluff for now and make it seem like I know what I'm talking about. It's so real, King. I, I feel like I know what I'm talking about. If this isn't the logic, I'm, I'm at least standing by this logic. Right? Even if this isn't the correct answer from the game. I'm standing by this as, as correct logic. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Wright. Ms. Miney, please amend your testimony. Like, okay. I'm, like, totally cool with that. <clears throat> it looked totally normal. Oh my god. I, okay, I, I, you know what, let's do it.
No. That was a very well spun line, Mazzini. Yeah. What are you babbling about this time, Mr. Phoenix Light? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. Stealing my lines now, are we, Phoenix? <laughs> Get his ass. Ms. Miney. <laughs> he didn't even address her. <laughs> Ms. Miney, may I remind you of what you said? You know, I gotta be really honest really fast. People are like, A4 Phoenix, best era Phoenix, blah, blah, blah. Justice for all era Phoenix is a close second. He's some kind of way. You said there was nothing strange about your sister's appearance. Oh, uh, like, yeah. And? But I don't think that's what you were thinking at all. Take a look at this picture. This is a picture of the sister you met. I would think that even you would be surprised if someone appeared before you like this. The blood spray. Ms. Miney, why did you not include the blood you saw in your testimony? If you were really testifying and not lying, you would have noted it right off the bat. Um! Order! Order! Ms. Miney, what is the meaning of this? Ms. Miney? I'm thinking, don't interrupt me! What are, in what are you stammering about, Your Honor? Um, uh, well, I, I, uh, that witness, her personality did a complete 180 there. Lots of people do that when they get on the stand, though. Mia s narrows her eyes. A likely story. First of all, calm yourself, witness. Well, I, I'm sorry. I, like, didn't mean to snap. Now hurry up with the testimony. If you please. Ugh, the judge still looks a little shaken up. A lot of help he's going to be. Most men are useless, let's be real. Like, the side room was, like, kind of dark, you know? It's like, the costume is, like, purple, right? The blood totally blended right in. And, like, I persuaded my sister it wasn't, like, right to do something like that. And then, like, I took my sister to the channeling chamber. <clears throat> yes, now I see. And you have given us a clear reason for why you didn't notice the blood. You think? Like, thanks, Gramps! Are you satisfied, Mr. Wright? Alright, I guess not. <laughs> Okay, well, fine, fucking do be like that. <laughs> Very well, you may question the witness. That's really funny. I don't remember that. Wait, no, oh, are you at this? Oopsie, I went back, go back. Nope. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, the judge is such a good character. Really? Because I thought it was pretty bright inside that room. Objection. Don't push your subjective opinions onto this court. Like, that's right. Um, excuse me, but how is my statement any more subjective than Ms. Miney's? You are such a hopeless cause. Witness, you may feel free to ignore this trite little man. Hey, like, okay. Uh can't breathe. Let me out of here. God, the bass line in this song goes so hard. Four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. Oh no, it's... Is it alternating between 13, 14 and 14, 14 time? Is that what's happening? I don't know. Weird. Anyway, I need to look up the time signature for this. You didn't see the blood? Like, yeah. But she must have had the gun with her at the time as well. Uh, that's. Are you going to tell me next that you didn't notice the gun either? I like 
I totally didn't. All I was looking at was like her face. <sighs> Continue. And what was your sister, Miss Mimi Miney, like at the time? Well, she was like totally flipped out because she just shot Dr. Gray. Well, I think like she knew. She like said she did something really bad. And like she said that she wanted to go with me to like apologize to Ms. Morgan. Did Mimi's spirit really say all that to you? Like, yeah. Was your sister calm by that time? I, I guess so. I guess maybe like taking revenge on Dr. Gray like made her feel a lot better. I'd like to feel a lot better too, Mr. Phoenix White. The sooner, the better. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. <laughs> she says with her whip at the ready. And like, Ms. Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? May I ask you one more thing, Ms. Miney? Like, sure. Was there anything you found strange, unusual, or just out of place? Something out of place? Huh? Like, when do you mean? Uh, when? Um, when you... You would have encountered Pearl. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. At the time of the murder... Yeah, she would have been in the hallway. I'm talking about when you were going to the channeling chamber, of course. Um, like, no, nothing strange. She would have been in the way. She answered rather quickly. Now what? Think harder. I know you can remember something. I like, totally can't. That's not good enough. You have to explain yourself clearly to this court. Hmm. Do you think, Mr. Wright, that whether or not there was something odd on the way to the channeling chamber is all that important? Uh, yes it is. Sorry, I'm just saving because I haven't in a while. Oh. Man, our internet is kind of rough today, I'm noticing, actually. Um, it's very important. I ask because it is very important. Not that I know where I'm going with this. That's okay, Phoenix, I know. Very well. Miss Miney, if you will, please include a statement about this in your testimony. Like, I don't get why, but okay. You didn't see anyone, huh? You fool. I finally found the fault. Or I guess in your case, the crack in your perfect lie. Take a look at this urn. Like, urn? There are cracks. Do you see them? So? Like, what does that prove? Objection! Who cares about some worn out old urn? Like, yeah. I already, like, said I didn't see, like, anyone on the way to the channeling chamber. I didn't, like, totally say anything about, like, an urn, did I? Oh, I said it seems like it's worse on Friday than Sunday for some reason. Yeah, I've noticed that as well, but it's like, um, like my actual Wi-Fi bars, like amount of bars filled is less than usual too. So like something, I don't know if like somebody streaming something or, or something else, but like worse than usual in, in, in my realm. <laughs> I'm glad it's like not really affecting you guys though. It looks like you still don't understand. I propose that if you had really been walking along the winding way at that time, there was no way you could have not seen this person. Pearly. I'd like to introduce someone to you. This is Ms. Morgan Fay's daughter, Pearl Fay. Yes, and how is this child relevant? It just so happens that at the time of the murder, Pearl was playing in the center garden. Oh. And she just happened to break this urn. Oh. Oh! Wait, she broke the urn? Yep, she accidentally knocked it over with her ball. 
and Pearl was the one who put it back together. While sitting right in the middle of Winding Way. What? <laughs> Ms. Miney. Pearl was there in the Winding Way at the time. She was hard at work putting the pieces of the urn back together, you see. If you couldn't see that while you were walking, I'd have to declare you legally blind. I think I have sufficiently proven one thing, Ms. Miney. You are a masterful liar. I, that was a really hard thing to say. You are a, you are a masterful liar. Too many sounds that don't go together. Remember when I was like, I hate English? Yeah. That's right, you need to watch what you say. The one who needs to watch what she's saying is the witness. So, Ms. Mighty, tell us the truth. About what? About what? About where you really were at the time of the murder, of course. Objection. The witness just testified about that. Th that's right. I was like, sleeping in the side room. Can I really believe her? Was she really sleeping in the side room? No. You dingle? Your lies end here. What are you- The witness says that during the actual murder, she was asleep in the side room. And I say that's not possible, because there's clearly a contradiction here. A contradiction? Where is this contradiction? Oh, baby. <laughs> Hold on. This is funny as hell. Can we? I, I just want to see. Hmm, I may have reached on this one. Is there really a contradiction somewhere? There is, but I just want to see. Don't worry, you're on the right path, Phoenix. It may be a little hard for you to see the contradiction, but it's there. So just this once, do you want me to help you out? Okay, I'll- I know what it is. But that's cute that she's like, do you want me to help? Hmm, well it might not be hard for me to see. But I can't just accept her help without thinking it through myself first. <laughs> That's the spirit? Give it another try. Mr. Wright, what is your answer? Ugh, okay, time to add another bluff to the pile. The witness says that during the actual murder, she was asleep in the side room. And I say that's not possible, because there's clearly a contradiction here. A contradiction? Where is this contradiction? In your testimony. Earlier in your testimony, Ms. Miney, you made the following statement. And, like, Ms. Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? It's true that at the time, both m myself and Ms. Hart were not there. We had gone to call the police. Uh, so? Like, what does that, like, have to do with anything? It's very simple. Ms. Miney, how did you know that fact? Uh, how? I can see that Ms. Faye was the only person in the channeling chamber. However, someone who was asleep in the side room could not have known that. <laughs> Which means, Ms. Miney, you did, in fact, go to the channeling chamber. But you didn't go there by way of the winding way. <laughs> but look at the manor guide map. If one were to go between the side room and the channeling chamber, one would have to use the winding way. Yes, that's right, Your Honor. Which is why, which is why, I ask this very important question. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Um, uh... Ms. Miney, please answer the question. Objection. Don't ask a question off a basis assumption, if you please. Well, I suppose since you put it out on the table, Mr. Phoenix Wright, you might as well answer the question for us. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Now's your chance, Phoenix. Yeah. The only person who could have killed Dr. Greg was Eenie Miney. So now is the time to prove it. Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear your answer. Where was the witness when the murder took place? In here. Ms. Miney was here, of course. Well, uh, but, but that's... 
The channeling chamber. Isn't that the crime scene? That's right. Ms. Mighty was at the scene of the crime. Order, order, order. That's, that's how. Mr. Phoenix Wright, have you lost your mind? Yesterday's testimony established that only the victim and the defendant were in the chamber when the channeling started. Yes, yes, that is correct. Please explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Simple. Miss Eni Miney was hiding at the scene of the crime. I, I was hiding? Where? Like, where was I hiding? Uh, over here. Take that! Here, of course. Behind the folding screen. Ah, don't make me say this again. Recall yesterday's testimony. There ain't no way anyone was hanging out behind that old folding screen. See, you stupid jerk. Quit being so quick to pick, pin it on me, slime ball. Now, now, Ms. Miney, one so young as you shouldn't be saying. Shut it, Gramps, as if you know exactly how old I am. I I'm sorry. Looks like the pipe's about to burst. I guess I should help along. I love this sprite so much. So, 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 so much. Girl boss. I really like her. The witness was hiding behind the folding screen with the help of this. Ms. Miney. How you were able to hide yourself at the scene of the crime is very simple. You were hiding inside this box. Ah! That tiny little box? No person could fit in that! Sorry, but your theory has already been disproved. Lotta disproved you when she was hiding from me in it. Um... But that clothing box was in the side room, right? Which means it has nothing to do with the murder at all. That's right! I was sleeping there, so I should know. The clothing box was there in the side room the whole time. Mr. Wright, do you think you can prove where the clothing box was at the time of the crime? I think that I can. Like, I think that I can because of the fucking bullet hole, right? And now... I present the piece of evidence that will prove this clothing box was at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Um... No, it makes sense to do this one. I thought about the clothing, but this makes more sense. Take a look at this clothing box. You're so stupid. As if there's any sort of evidence in that old thing. <clears throat> this? What on earth? I don't have time for you to sit there surprised. Hurry up and say it already. There's a hole! Show hole! It's about eight inches off the ground. Hmm, a hole about eight inches off the ground. Where have we heard that before? The folding screen. It had a hole at the same height. That's right. I hope this has opened your eyes to what happened. At the time of the shooting, the clothing box was sitting behind the folding screen. Which is why the bullet from the pistol hit both the box and the folding screen. It went through the screen, then into the box. <laughs> Ms. Miney, you were hiding behind the folding screen, waiting for your chance. Yes, for your chance to kill Dr. Gray. Ah! Order, order. So what you are saying? Th then... Mr. Phoenix Wright, what about this picture? Are you saying that the person in this photo is Ms. Eenie Miney? That is exactly what I'm saying. Ms. Eenie Miney, you were hiding inside this clothing box all along. And you wore a medium's costume to masquerade as Maya Faye. T to masquerade as Maya Faye? I love the judge when he just repeats exactly what we say. Thanks, thanks for your contributions, King. You're so helpful. Love you. She had it planned from the very beginning. She would kill Dr. Gray and pin the blame on my client. No, stop! I can't stand to listen to any more of this foolishness. If that's the case, 
case, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then I have a proposition. This whole idea that the witness moved the clothing box to the crime scene, pretended to be the defendant, killed the victim, and then fled the scene of the crime. It's not possible for one person to do all that by herself. That's correct. It is not. It really is impossible for one person to do all the preparations. That is. Ow! Need I remind you, the foolish receive no mercy. Wait. Ms. Von Karma, you said it was not possible for one person, correct? You can't be serious! <sighs> Ms. Mining, you had an accomplice. Get rid of this woman. This person! If it wasn't someone from Kurain Village, you couldn't have gotten the costume. And if it wasn't someone from the Faye household, you wouldn't have had that box to use. Morgan Faye! Isn't that the wonderful lady witness we had earlier? What do you have to say to this, Miss Miney? <sighs> you shot Dr. Gray with your own two hands. Do you deny it? This is what really happened. The murderer had planted herself at the scene of the crime long beforehand. Dressed in a medium's costume and wearing a wig, she pretended to be the defendant. And then the channeling started. The murderer crept silently toward the other two both of whom had their eyes closed. First, she drugged Maya Fey with a strong sleeping agent. Then, she stabbed Dr. Gray with a knife. Next, she hid my client inside the clothing box. She did that so she could take Maya's place and frame her for the crime. But that's when something unexpected happened. Unexpected? Yes. Dr. Gray was not actually yet dead. Or, wait. Dr. Gray was actually not yet dead. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> I know how to read. With the last of his strength, he fired a shot as it at his attacker. And that is why the hole in the folding screen was so low to the ground. The murderer then took the gun from Dr. Gray and... After that... You and the other lady thought to break into the room. Yes, a gunshot is certainly something you wouldn't expect to hear. Which is why, upon hearing the shots, we forced our way into the channeling chamber. Ms. Miney, she immediately covered her own costume with blood. And pretended to be Maya Fey. But that sort of deception would have been easy to see through. Which is precisely why Ms. Morgan Fey chased us out. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. But hurry, before there are more victims here. What is one supposed to say? What, what mom may I do? The judge really said that. He really said what mom may I do. This is the real truth behind this murder. at a time like this. Oh, you simple-minded fools. I'm sorry. Are you still by chance evolving? What is it this time? Ms. Von Karma? Surely. Of course it was me. Do you really think someone of Von Karma blood would lose to something this petty? What in the world? Mr. Phoenix Wright. Your argument is flawed in one very crucial area. Oh, it's it, fucking be real time. Be real with Francisco. Let's go. Hell yeah. 
And that is... If this witness is the real murderer, why would she go through all this trouble? Huh? Working together with a medium, pretending to be one, putting on this whole act. What reason would she have had to do such foolish things? Huh? Well, that's, uh... Yeah, that's right. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Oh, and one other thing. Why would Miss Eeny Miney want to kill Dr. Gray? Where is her motive? Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to say too. Yeah, motive. I don't have a motive. A uh, motive. That's... I can't say she has no motive here. I'm just saying. I know what her motive is. Easy. I have to think of a motive now. What is her reason for wanting Dr. Gray dead? The reason you wanted Dr. Gray dead is this. <laughs> Just as I thought. You bore me with your silly answers, Mr. Phoenix, right? Pausing on the straight with, straight with the whip raised above her head reminded me of the Zhang Chung version of that sprite. Yeah, I love that so much. I was going through my text- or er, my textbook. I was going through my old sketchbook and I saw where I had a- like, way back when I had, um... I had sketched that. And like, wending as Maya, as like the weird girl, <laughs> to feed to, um, Wei Wuxian's Phoenix. Great. Just great. Now even she is calling me by my full name. You think I did this to get revenge for my sister's death? Yes. Because through that accident, you suffered a lot of hurt and pain yourself. Don't be stupid. No one has proof that Dr. Gray drugged my sister, right? And you want to say I wanted to take revenge based on nothing? What do you mean by that? Senile stupid gramps. I'm going to explain, so like, please listen, okay? It's been over half a year since I was discharged from the hospital. If I, like, wanted revenge, then, like, I wouldn't have waited this long. Wending weird girl. Yeah, he's perfect for the weird girl. Especially if Lanjan is the is the Edgeworth and he has to deal with all the dumb sexu sexual tension between them. Who better? Who is the third wheel? It's him. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Um, and besides, like, the guy that thought of the spirit thing was like Dr. Gray. It was like a total coincidence he asked me about it, you know? She, she's back to her airhead persona. H however, you see, ouch, pathetic, Mr. Wright. You failed to support your own theory. <laughs> the end. I think we have our answer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What Ms. Mania stated is very true. The revenge plan is overly complicated, and she has no motive in the first place. Furthermore, there's no reason for Ms. Morgan Fay to cooperate with this plan. You don't even have any truly decisive pieces of evidence to demonstrate your point. So many faults, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You should really learn your place. Ugh! What happened? I thought I had her for sure. <laughs> See, like, it's just as I told you. I hope you liked your slice of humble pie. Very well. I now conclude the cross-examination of Miss Eeny Miney. Mia, please. Help me out. Phoenix is too dumb to do it himself. Thank you. Your honor, please allow the defense one more minute. All right. You can't lose here. Have faith in yourself, Phoenix. Mia. Yes, it does sound like a ridiculously messed up plan for a murder. But, you know, regardless, that girl trained for this crime. Really? Is that what that line really said? Listen, Phoenix. Everything happens for a reason. There is a reason why she had to kill Dr. Gray. And it is also the reason- okay, I guess that is what- yeah, okay. And it is also the reason she had no choice but to kill him in this fashion. Time is up, Mr. Wright. Your final answer, please. 
If you want to say that you can prove Ms. Miney had a motive, then... Why did she kill the victim in this way? Can you prove the reason? Can I? Can I really do this? Yes, I can. I've been waiting such a long time. Saturday. I am not totally confident here, but I know that I must press on no matter what. That's right, Phoenix. Only you can do this now. I will show and substantiate the fact that Ms. Miney had a motive. <laughs> too bad. You're like too late. My cross-examination has already ended after all. Interesting. I'll let you have your chance, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? You're supposed to be on my side! Oi! A Von Karma only cares about the perfect win. As long as you have the will to fight, I will knock you down, Mr. Phoenix Wright. And I don't care if you are my witness. So help me, I will throw you out of my way. No way! Very well. The court will take a five minute recess. We will continue the cross examination after we reconvene. Hey, wait a second here! Get fucked. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a few minutes break just to fill up my water and blow my nose. I will be right back. Okay. I have returned. And we pray the batteries in my controller last. Oops. Should be fine. I hope. I do have more. I just don't want to deal with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Is it really true about my aunt? Thank you. I'm afraid so, Maya. There's no way Eni could have killed Dr. Gray by herself. 
Something I've noticed, okay, before we get into like all this, the localization in this is really interesting because I've noticed in this game in particular that Phoenix is not using contractions very often. Like when he's speaking directly to the judge, that makes more sense as to why he's not. But when he's in his mind palace, for instance, he, and like talking to Maya and stuff, um, he's not using contractions as much. And I'm like, that's so weird. It feels unnatural. <sighs> anyway, and under the circumstances, there's no one other than your aunt Morgan. That, that's terrible. Why would my aunt? Everything is going just as I predicted, Mr. Phoenix Light. Hello. Uh, Ms. Von Karma. Why are you doing this? Why are you trying to take revenge on Nick? Nick had nothing to do with what happened to your dad. Don't you have something better to be worrying about? Say your own situation. I wonder if it's because he's super depressed, maybe? Or just rushed localization? I don't know. Mm. Looking down on me, even though we're the same age? Are you done yet? You've caused me enough pain and suffering. Not yet. My goal is to defeat you and let the whole world know of your defeat. But even if you do that, it won't bring your father back. Whoa! I forgot he said that. Damn. <laughs> Whatever. In the meantime, let's bring this match to its conclusion. And then we'll know who the real winner is. Bro, she's 18. Like, I know she's being mean to you, but she's 18. God, will now reconvene, Mr. Wright. <coughs> yes, Your Honor. Can you prove Miss Inimani had a motive? Yes, I believe I can. Eeny, Miney, and Dr. Gray have only one point of connection. And that is the car accident one year ago. The motive I'm looking for must be there. Ms. Eeny, uh, Ms. Miney, please testify to the, this court about your car accident last year. Huh? I thought, like, you wanted to, like, ask about my, like, motive. I, like, don't see the point in, like, bringing up the past. Ms. Miney, if you please. Okay, okay, like, I totally don't think it'll do any good, but... That was, like, last year in May. Like, something really bad happened at, like, my sister's clinic around then. And, like, the night of the accident, my sister was totally tired while she was driving. I was, like, totally pooped too, so I, like, fell asleep in the passenger seat. I, like, woke up because of a jolt, and, like, it was a sea of flames around me. I, like, opened the door and, like, got away. <clears throat> I think I've heard of this accident incident. It was all the talk on the tabloid shows day after day last year. Yes, and there was talk about Dr. Gray drugging your sister. <sighs> Those were merely rumors. Totally baseless gossip. Hmm. <clears throat> Yes. Mr. Wright, you may question the witness. Right now, it's impossible to prove that Dr. Gray did in fact drug Ms. Miney's sister. Yeah, which means I'll have to work this from another angle. Tell me shit about your trauma. Didn't some sort of medical malpractice happen at your sister's hospital then? Yeah, like, that was in May too. Like, the thing with all the patients dying was, like, May 2nd, and, like, our accident was, like, on the 24th. Two accidents back to back. Do you assume it's just a coincidence? My sis was, like, totally tired, so that's why, that's why, duh. That was the malpractice incident where 14 patients died, correct? Yeah. What was the cause of this mistake? Like, I heard it was because the medicines, like, got mixed up. Was that the fault of your sister, Mimi Miney? 
Like, no way. Dr. Green, like, wanted to blame it on my sis. That incident has nothing to do with our murder here. Besides, the police report has already documented that it was entirely Mimi Miney's fault. Which means, as far as the real facts are concerned, Mimi Miney is the one who made the mistake. Really? It really wasn't my sis. She was totally tired? You mean exhausted? Like, she had to talk to the police and, like, was being investigated, like, in every day. It was, like, a totally terrible situation. It's no wonder, then, that the car accident happened, huh? So then, why didn't you ask to switch places? Huh? Like, what are you talking about? I meant switch drivers. If your sis was so si if your sister was so tired, then you should have switched with her. Then you should have switched with her. Can I read, please? True, true. Ah, but like, I don't like have a driver's license. This is news to me. I was not aware you didn't have your license, Miss Miney. <clears throat> Miss Miney, please amend your testimony. Like, okay. Anyway. Uh, okay, I guess. It's at the end. The accident happened at night, correct? Yeah, like, it was at, like, 1 a.m. or so, I think. I had, like, a paper due, like, really soon. So, like, I hadn't slept and was working, like, real hard. So it was because the two of you were so tired that this accident happened. And your sister? What happened to her? I... I didn't see her. The car was, like, totally black, and there was, like, a ton of smoke. I, like, totally had, like, no clue what was going on. Please tell us about your escape in more detail. I... I, like, kept wanting to forget that time. So, like, I don't remember things about the accident in, like, detail anymore. <clears throat> well, it's alright. No need to push yourself. I think I, like, gave an interview after the accident. Like, that would probably be the most accurate, you know? <clears throat> if it's that article, then I've already got it. You're a little liar, but I will press this anyway. And that's why you were in the passenger seat? Like, yeah. I was, like, at my college's research lab till, like, really late. So my sis was, like, giving me a ride home. If you're a college student watching this, don't, don't stay up until super late doing something. Pace your time if you can. I know it's not always possible, but, like, you know... I see. Phoenix. Yes? You can't do this. You're being too easy on her. There's got to be some sort of secret sleeping in this testimony. Yes, so let's find that one crushing contradiction and end this. I don't- Mia, you can get mad at Phoenix, that's fine. I know what it is, though. <laughs> I was, uh, when I was an undergraduate, I did do, like, a couple of all-nighters, and I was far less productive in them than I was just, like, timing myself two or three hours to work on stuff. Um. Anyway, you're a liar. Ms. Miney. That was a lame lie just now. <laughs> like, why do you mean? I know you had a license back then. This is a photo you took for the express purpose of getting a driver's license. What is the meaning of this, Miss Miney? Uh, um, uh, that's, that's right. Yeah, I had, like, a license, but... But I didn't get it until after the accident. No, you had it. You had it at the time of the accident. Director Hottie, or the guy pretending to be him anyway, said so. What? Are you talking about that perverted fake clinic director? Yes, that perverted fake clinic director. And how did you know he was perverted? Ouch! No one cares. Witness! 
When did you receive your driver's license? Like, last November. What? November? The accident happened last May. That's half a year lapsed in time, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What in the... That, 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 that's what happened, Mr. This is a t -t 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 today Junior reference. I'm almost positive this is a Billy Madison joke. At the time of the accident, Ms. Miney did not have a driver's license. Ugh. Ow! Cry, and my whip will accommodate. Anyway, without a license, the witness and her sister could not have switched drivers. I'm, like, glad you get it, but... Wait, even if I had my license, I, like, don't think my sis would have, like, let me drive. Hmm. Yeah, don't just stand there humming to yourself. Not you too, Mia. With the whip and the pain and the ow. <laughs> I forgot he said this. He's so funny. Ms. Miney, what do you think would it... Why do you think you would not have been allowed to drive anyway? Ah, uh, um, that's because... I think the situation calls for a more detailed testimony. Ms. Miney, if you please. Ah, like, how annoying. Oops, like, sorry, didn't mean to be mean. One second, I do want to reread. Crash on the highway center to buy. Okay. I was totally tired and I dropped off asleep. There's a huge crash and I woke up in the sun, but I opened the right door. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like, around that time, I was like really close to getting my license. My sister was like this totally big fan of cars and like really valued them. She, like, had just gotten this really shiny bright red sports car. She, like, would say things like, No way am I letting a noob drive my car. So, like, that's why I ended up in the passenger seat that night, too. <clears throat> I see. A bright red car for sports. <laughs> He's so stupid. That's really funny, though. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> That's really funny. Now then, the defense may question the witness. Hmm. I'm not terribly knowledgeable about cars, but... For sports. <laughs> yeah, it's good, right? <laughs> So, what do you mean by really close? Like, I had one of those permit things. I think that's what they're called. Um, permit? Wow, the big name lawyer boy doesn't even know what a driver's permit is. Well, this lawyer never had a permit. Ah. Ignorance is to be whipped. What is with her? All she said in the last few minutes is utter nonsense. So, like, may I continue? She valued cars? How much would you say she valued her car? Well, like, she'd flip out at, like, a drop of rain. And, <laughs> like, she would notice if, like, someone touched the car door with dirty hands. In that case, why bother taking the car out of the garage ever? Why did she take such special care of the car? How can you say that? It was a brand spanking new car. New car? Like, you wouldn't want to, like... Get it dirty, would you, Mr. Lear? I would think that cars getting dirty is just another fact of life, but I guess people who really love cars think otherwise. Phoenix, try asking something of more significance, all right? Well, Ms. Miney, what kind of car was it? Car for sports. <laughs> it was a new car? Yeah. She had, like, just gotten it. It was, like, from the UK. <laughs> the UK. Are those her boyfriend's initials?
I love the judge. And it was a really special model. She waited for a whole year for it to arrive. I guess her love of cars would be the obvious next topic. I really don't know anything about cars, but I had a feeling this was bound to come up. Your Honor. Yes. Please have the witness append what she just said to her testimony. You mean the part about it being a special import car? Yes. <sighs> well, if you like cars that much, then... That's not my point! Though, to be honest, I don't know what the point is either. Ms. Miney, would you please fix your testimony? He's so silly. Sure, whatever. <sighs> totally special model. <sighs> I yelled, hold it, pretty forcefully, but... I don't actually know what to ask about cars. Ask for the heck of it. Um, so yes. What am I supposed to pick for a topic? Let's start with this. Why are British cars good? Wait, huh? They're expensive, and their driver's seat is opposite to our cars here in the States. It would seem there's no benefit to, own to owning one. Wait, huh? This whole steering wheel on the right side thing. It's kind of goofy, isn't it? <laughs> you, what do you know? That's sleek shape. The per the engine, the way it wild starts, and the smooth handling of the raw digits. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> Her personality really changes at the drop of a hat. It's interesting, isn't it, Phoenix? Bit by bit, we're beginning to see the real co contradiction behind this case. Was your sister good at driving? She was, like, totally awesome. She, like, since she was going to be the, like, racing queen of the nursing world. Somehow, I think she bumped my question off track again. And that was when the accident occurred, correct? Like, yeah. I, like, immediately reached for the passenger side door and fled, like, in a date. <clears throat> Sounds like you had a terrifying time. There's something very big here. It's going to be hard to break apart such a natural-sounding testimony. But we have to attack it. And by doing so, a flaw will show itself. It has to. D do you really think so? Believe. There is a path. I know it. Mm. Mia almost sounded like a prophet for a second there. Valued them. Objection. You suck. <laughs> I think I think that should be his response. If when like someone's really bad at lying, they tell like a really dumb lie. You suck. I think every protagonist should get that at one point. Ms. Miney. Do you remember this article? It's an article about the accident. You had said this in it. But I opened the right door and, like, got out. That's correct, isn't it? Wait, why are you suddenly asking me about that? Your Honor, which side is the passenger's side? The left or the right? Well, it's on the right side, of course. Because the driver's on the left side. That would be if it were an American car. But it would be the opposite in a British car opposite. The two of them were riding in a British car. In that case, the passenger side would be the left side. Ah! What do you mean by this? Ms. Mighty, you said that you had escaped using the right side door of the car. But if you were sitting there, then that means you were in the driver's seat. Order! Order in the court! Order! 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 Mr. Phoenix Wright is blabbering nonsense again. Mimi said the person who was driving was her older sister, Mimi Miney. That is what Amy said, yes. But that is where her story falls apart. Somewhere, all of us made a big error in our assumptions. Phoenix, it looks like you finally found the real root of this murder. If we connect all the dots, there can be only one answer. I would like to ask the court a question. Eni or Mimi, who was really driving that night? 
I always... Like, I know where we're going, but I always get mixed up with this. Okay. So she was on the right side. If Mimi was on the right side... Hold on. Hold on. This is... I'm really bad with this. If... Any was on the right side, she was in the driver's seat. Right? But Mimi was driving the car. The answer is the one person who had her driver's license. Me, okay, I guess that's the logic for it. I was like, I know where we're going. Oh, hello. Or good evening. The answer is the one person who had her driver's license. Me, me, miney. After all, that makes her the only person who could legally drive. What you just said. The witness, Miss Me, miney, was the one in the driver's seat. Which leads us to the next question. <laughs> Next question. Who is the person standing at the witness stand right now? <laughs> what sort of idiotic ruse is this, Mr. Phoenix Light? Th this witness's name. This witness's name is. I'll tell you what her name really is. This witness's real name is. Mimi Miney. That is your real name. Objection! Of all the foolish dribble! Th then how do you explain her appearance? This witness had severe facial burns when she was admitted into the hospital. So for the purpose of facial reconstruction, the surgeons used a picture. Facial reconstruction surgery. This is the picture she gave to her doctors at the time. That's right. It's a picture of her younger sister. No! But Mimi Miney, she died in the car accident. That's what everyone thought. However, that was not the case. Then the body they found at the crash site. That was the body of the real Eeny Miney. Isn't that right, Miss Mimi Miney? I love her little fangs. <laughs> that car accident one year ago. The one who died that night was Eeny Miney. Her sister, Mimi, then stole her face and was reborn as Eeny. With this, she effectively erased Mimi Miney from existence. Your Honor, I'm sure you can now see why Mimi had to kill Dr. Gray. What do you mean? I what is the meaning of this nonsense? Dr. Gray wanted to call back the spirit of a dead person. Specifically, the spirit of his nurse that died in the crash, Mimi Miney. However, that would not have been possible. Because Mimi Miney was still, in fact, alive. And that fact would have been discovered had the channeling been conducted. So this witness had to stop that from happening all costs. And, and, and that's why she had to kill Dr. Turner Gray. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Before the channeling, Dr. Gray had the misfortune of consulting this witness about communicating with the dead. And in that moment, his fate was sealed. So there's something about the logic that I also want to talk about here. Is that like, it's weird, number one, it's weird that Dr. Gray talked to Eni, because it's like, th this Eni, because it's like, you would have known that, the, that, like, that's her sister, and there's bad blood between you guys. Like, why would you have asked her? That's really weird, unless she gave him a false name or something. Um, and then number two um, would be, like, uh, hold on, what was it? Where was my brain? Um, if, if the channeling hadn't gone well, it's so like Maya tried to channel him and it failed, it actually wouldn't have been a big deal because then Eni would just look bad and Maya would just look bad. There wouldn't have been any consequence to it. 
So the logic of this case, I love this case, but the logic of this case is not as good as people think it is. Anyway. And in that moment, his fate was sealed. Oh. Whoa, Mazzini. I mean, Miss Von Karma. I, it, why did you say my name just now? Looks like I've been unmasked. W witness? Hey, girl. That's right. I admit it. My real name is Mimi Miney. <laughs> that quack doctor. He got what he deserved in the end. And I was so close to finally ditching Mimi, too. So close. But... but why? Why would you go so far as to throw away yourself? To become your own sister? I think I understand why. Mimi Miney wanted her old self to disappear because of this. about the malpractice incident. Dr. Gray was right. The mistake was caused by the nurse. A nurse by the name of Mimi Miney. That's right. The person standing before us today. And a few weeks after this mishap, Mimi Miney had a car accident in which she lost her younger sister. Th the timing could have been worse. Fourteen patients dying in that incident and her own sister's life extinguished. It was all too much to bear. I found a way I, whoa, whoa. I found a way for myself to escape it all. The only way. She lost everything in the flames of that accident. Her sister and even her own face. This was her last chance. Her chance to throw away her past and start a new life as her sister. Unbelievable. A plan beyond my wildest imagination. That jerk. If only he hadn't thought of that channeling mumbo jumbo. Mumbo jumbo? Becoming E has been the most horrible experience in the world. Spirit channeling? The occult? I hate it. I hate it all. I believe there are still a few unsolved riddles here, such as why did Ms. Miney chose to choose to go with such a complicated plan? And why does Ms. Morgan Fay agree to help her execute it? Regardless, I believe one thing has been made crystal clear. <coughs> The innocence of the defendant, Maya Fey. Th this... This is preposterous! Hi. I'm perfect. Me, Franziska Von Karma. I'm going to enjoy the news tonight, Ms. Von Karma. How about you? It's going to be broadcast all over the world, right? Your defeat, that is. Oh, ah! Ow! 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 What the fuck is wrong with you?! And one more for good measure! Phoenix! Hang in there, Phoenix! Phoenix! This court is a fraud! A sham! F! <laughs> now then, it looks like it will be some time before Mr. Hyde regains consciousness, so I will go ahead and pronounce the verdict. Hot! Milky! It's a girl's world. That is all. This court is adjourned. Congratulations, Maya. Sis! Oh. It's good to see you, Maya. How are you doing? Sis! kill anyone, did I? No, you didn't. It was all just a dream. A really bad dream. You know, sis, in my dream, I smelled a really familiar scent. A familiar scent? 
I was inside that clothing box, right? That box. That was the box you used to store your clothes in a long time ago. That's right. Hmm. There is still one thing I don't quite get. What's that? What would have happened if Mimi hadn't shot Dr. Gray? I mean, we broke in because we heard a gunshot. I think Mimi Miney had planned to open the door to the chamber herself. And then you and Lada would have witnessed quite a scene. A possessed Maya Fey who had just committed a murder. She had a plan down to the smallest detail, huh? Nick! Congrats, Maya. Thanks! Looks like you bailed me out of another jam. Well, you know. But... I really don't want something like this to happen ever again. Huh? I'm fine because I have you to help me out, Nick. But every time something happens, I lose someone special to me. First my sister, and now my aunt. Hey, Nick! Tell me! Tell me why my aunt went and did something so horrible! Why would she help Mimi Miney with a plan like that? I just... I just don't understand it, Nick! Maya, it's over. Why don't we just let it be? Nick, please! I need an answer! The reason Morgan helped Mimi with her plan was... her daughter. Pearly? Four years from now, a new master will be born into Kudain Village. And that person will be you, Maya. A and? But if you weren't there, then the main family's bloodline would disappear. And what would happen then? The Blanche family. My aunts. No, Morgan's spiritual power is too weak. The next person would be Pearls. Ah! Everything was done for her sake. It was all so that Pearls would become the next master. Y yeah, I can see that. Did Maya say something just now? I think that she was saying... I thought so. My precious pearl. You are the only one suitable to be the master of crying, dear child. I sacrificed it all. All for you. I helped that brainless nurse carry out her murder and cooperated with that whip-happy prosecutor. It was all to unseat that annoying, witless main family girl. That Maya Fay. But I shall be patient, my dearest Pearl. A chance will present itself. Your time will come. Sure we won't see her again. <sighs> well. That's that on that, huh? Morgan Fay. <laughs> that of is so funny. It's such a yeah, like yeah. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so next case. Well, okay, first of all, this case. I really do like this case. I really like the the Miney sisters, like that whole plot is really cool. Um, I think it's really moving, actually. There's not a lot of times where I feel in these trilogy games that I feel like a rando, a rando um, perpetrator is like, um, I feel really, really sorry for them. I do feel sorry for her. Uh, she was going through it. Um, and then uh, the next case <sighs> is one of the most controversial in the whole series. I don't think it's as bad as people say, as far as the logic goes, but there's other parts of it that make it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, oh no, it's the turnabout big top, yeah. Um, but, I will say, uh, I will be absent. Uh, my least favorite one in this game, yeah, easy. Um, I will be absent from streaming for a little while. I say approximately approximately until like the 26th ish. Uh because 
I'm gonna be doing something even cooler. Wow. <laughs> um. Yeah. So. I, uh, you know, I I could I could stream Sunday morning, I guess, but like I don't want to start this one in the middle and then have to come back to it and be like, where what happened? What happened? Because I won't remember. So, he he. If you're lacking Ace Attorney in the meantime, Game Grumps are playing this game, and you can watch the vods and uh, Danny and Megan have their channel. There's plenty of Ace Attorney to be had. Until then. Something cooler than Ace Attorney. Friendship. <laughs> wow. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. You know the drill. Take care of yourself. Take care of others. Be good to yourself. Be kind. Stay safe. Stay hydrated. Thanks for hanging out. If you need to go take your meds, especially allergy meds, now's the time. <laughs> and I will see you in a couple of weeks.